Hello everyone, it's Ant Hazuki here, back with another Shenmue Trophy and Achievement Guide, this time for Fallen Angels. Now this Trophy and Achievement requires you to rescue Nozomi from the Mad Angels gang. It's a story-led trophy, so it's not technically missable, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, it's actually can be quite confusing if you're new to the game and you're not sure where to go to get your motor transport, which in this case is a motorcycle. And actually the second part of it, which is also can be difficult if you're new to it, is the motorcycle section because it has a very tight time limit. So I'll give you a guide on what exactly to do for both of those so you can complete this section easily. Anyway, um, when you get to this area in the story, you will get a call from Shai saying it's kidnapped Nozomi and you need to get to warehouse number 17 before 3.30 in the morning. If you fail to do that, you have to repeat the section each time until you finally get it. Anyway, what you want to do is watch this cutscene out, and as soon as it's finished, you need to go to Dubuita, and you want to head down to the bus stop. Um, when you get there, Rio will then comment that, well, the last bus has gone, and he needs to find an alternative mode of transport. Um, and uh, there's not too many people around in Dubuita, as you might expect at midnight, apart from the drunks, and, and no people that can really help you apart from two in a bar, and that bar is uh, Yosuka. Anyway, so first things first, as soon as you see the end of this cutscene, you want to head out straight to Dubuita, to the bus stop. Get it to trigger. The bus and then once you've done that, right. you want to head, turn around and head straight back to the red light district and to the bar. Uh, it's the, the barman and the, the lady that you're actually friends with that you meet uh, uh, earlier in the game. They're there every night throughout the entire game. So I will now just fast skip it to where you need to be. So this bar here. And you can speak to either of the either the barman or the woman, doesn't matter which, or in my case you can uh, uh, speak to both. Um, so Don't want to speak to him. I see. That's so a lock on for you. What? Can you lend me a motorcycle? Can't believe I forgot the guy's name, Saijo San. Calm down now. How can I be calm now? Neither of you can actually lend them a motorcycle, but what they do is they now tell you where you need to go. Your friend has one, right? Now Yuki, that's it. So now Rio knows where he needs to go, which is now Yuki. You can then now head back to Sakuragalka. Uh, for those wondering, you can't skip ahead. If you go straight to Nayuki, uh, Rio doesn't do anything, he just stands there. So you need to see these people for the flag in the game to trigger. As I say, you can ask either of these two people and it'll be absolutely fine. So head back to Sakuragalka. And I head left, right down to the end of the street, and uh, it's where the motorcycle's been the entire game, and this cutscene will now play. And this music during this scene is fantastic. Yes, I really like it. it. So I'll let this play out, it's real. and I'll join you for the motorcycle ah, section. Just a moment. Hey, Rio. What's up? I need a favor. Oh, sure. Come on in. Can't. I'm in a hurry. Can I use your motorcycle? My motorcycle? Sure. Cash. Thanks. Don't drive too fast. I won't. Later. Now this motorcycle section can be quite tricky, um, the, uh, the handling shall we say is quite special. What you want to do here, it's quite simple, is you don't want to hit the brake button, it's way too fierce. You simply just want to let off the gas every time you see the corner. Um, if you hit too many corners you're not going to make it, you probably get away with one or two. Um, if you fail it, uh, you get to try again. Um, and simply it's about learning the course as I say just letting off the gas 
um, then you'll be fine. It's not um, uh, hard once you've done it a few times. I must say, uh, whilst I'm here, whilst we're going through this section, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure going through the whole of the of Shenmue again. Still my favourite game of all time. Um, can't wait for Shenmue 3. And uh, yeah, barring uh, a number of unfortunate bugs in this port, uh, it's so nice that it has got released. Uh, it's well worthy of your time. And if anyone's having to watch this video, <laughs> hasn't yet bought it, uh, do so. It's it's well worth it. I'll actually be doing a full review of Shenmue on my channel. Um, hopefully within the next week and it will be from the point of view that someone that's loved this series from when it originally launched and my thoughts on how it stacks up in, uh, in today's uh, games but uh, yeah the whole of the final two three hours of the original Shenmue is so awesome and it really sets up nicely to the second one. It's actually really nice to play them back to back. So, so now you're in the harbour, you'll have a couple of um, free battles with Terry's thugs. Uh, like a lot of the battles in this game, none of them are particularly um, difficult, especially if you've gone and uh, um, trained Rio up with his moves so he's quite a bit more powerful but uh, I find the um, elbow attack hit blow forward forward punch works very very well uh, as well as uh, the ru uh, running kick you hold down the trigger and, and press uh, X on that PS4, good for clearing out them when they've all got you uh, gathered round you. Think we just let you pass? But uh, one thing I find amazing, of course, is the whole of Shenmue is almost like a uh, a prologue. When you when you get to the end, they mention that the saga begins. That's such a shame. <laughs> that Shenmue 2 would be it for this length of time hence why it's uh, it's going to be so good just to see the story continue I'd be surprised if Yu Suzuki could fit the rest of the saga in Shenmue 3 so I do expect to see Shenmue 4 but uh, hopefully he wraps up the third one so in case we don't ever get Shenmue 4 uh, will be satisfied with that way <laughs> have some fun with us. don't have a massive weight but yes uh, let me know in the comments below drop me a like and subscribe if this video has helped you or if you need any further help with this section I'll be glad to help thank you for watching I shall see you in the next video cheers